the mother of missing student Richard Okorowai has been informed by police that the body found in Epping Forest matches his description. The body was discovered by Essex police officers on Monday afternoon, 13 days after the 19-year-old went missing. Evidence Joel said that officers informed her of the news yesterday evening, as investigations remain underway, to formally identify the body. Oh God, they said the description matches his, but we'll go in tomorrow to find out, Ms. Joel told me London. Mr. Okorowai, who has sickle cell disease, left his family home in the Ladbroke Grove area of West London on the evening of March 22, and was reported missing two days later. He was last seen on CCTV in Lawton, Essex, in the early hours of Tuesday, March 23, walking towards Epping Forest. Police divers had previously been seen in a body of water in the woodland. H.I.S. Mother, Evidence Joel has previously said that her son had spoken of struggling to cope with university pressures and had been shielding during the COVID-19 lockdown. It comes after the mother of missing teenager has said her life is a complete nightmare in the wake of her son's disappearance two weeks ago. Ms. Joel has previously stated she fears that her son may have met someone through PlayStation 5 who gained his trust. I'm shocked. I am shocked he even knows where Lawton is, as I don't even know where that place is, she told Sky News. I think he went to meet somebody. Definitely. Richard cannot go there. Especially at that time in the morning, someone was waiting for Richard. Earlier yesterday, the Metropolitan Police said the search of Epping Forest Woodland was continuing for the fifth day. Police divers were deployed and were seen in one of the areas of water in the woodland in northeast London. Speaking to The Guardian in a previous interview, Mr. Okorowai's mother, Evidence Joel, said waiting for information on her son's whereabouts had been hell. She told the paper. Every day is a nightmare for me now. I feel completely helpless. Helpless, and also, sorry to use this word, but I feel useless. Because I want to go out there to do something to look for him, search for him, anything. But I can't, she said of needing to remain at home in case he makes contact. Scotland Yard previously said that detectives continue to keep an open mind about the student's whereabouts. Initial police inquiries identified Mr. Okorowai leaving his home address and heading in the direction of Ladbroke Grove at around 8. Thirty p.m. In a previously confirmed sighting on Monday, March the twenty-second, Mr. Okorowai was seen boarding the number twenty-three bus southbound in Ladbroke Grove at eight. Forty-four p.m. CCTV footage shows he was wearing all black and had a black satchel bag with a white Adidas logo worn across his lower back.
Police said further inquiries have established that he then took a taxi journey from the W2 area of London to a residential street in Lawton. He was captured on CCTV walking alone on Smarts Lane, Lawton, towards Epping Forest at 12. Thirty nine AM on Tuesday, March the twenty third. On Thursday, the force said Mr. Okarawai's phone has not been in use since his disappearance. As someone with sickle cell disease, Mr. Okarawai would only leave the house to go to hospital for regular blood transfusions for his condition. She told the Guardian the current cold weather, which could cause Mr. Okarawai's substantial pain, was a major concern. She said, We know he didn't take a jacket when he went out. That's really worrying. Ms. Joel added she had no idea as to what could have prompted Mr. Okarawai's disappearance and called on his online community of friends to contact police if they have any information. She also issued a message to her son, telling him, Everybody misses you. A N D, we love you very much. We want you home.